So now we can see that our shorts are looking more like pajama shorts a little bit, right? Okay, so they still look to me like they're pretty long. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn it back. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did as we did on the top, on the waistband. We are going to turn it, but because I have plenty of room to, to sleep in, I don't need them that long. So I'm going to do it half inch again. Remember how we did this before? And I just turn the whole thing in. So if it's a half inch, this is actually about a, a little bit more than a half inch. You can see how that is. You can measure it a half, you can measure it an inch. If you really feel like they're too long, like remember we made these pretty long, then we could do it that way and we have enough that we could just hem it again like that. See how I just flipped it again? And then what you could do, just to show you it, is go ahead and pin it. I mean, I'm only doing this to show you guys something, okay? So if I felt like that might be a good length, you could just take it at that point and you can hold it up and see if that's a reasonable length. To me, that's okay, because you're not gonna wear it all the way up here. You're gonna wear it more on your hips. So I just did that and I'm okay with that. I feel like that's good, but I do wanna make sure that it's even. So how do I make sure it's even? I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm going to measure it an inch. I just, I just folded it earlier just to see if that would be reasonable to do an inch. And I feel like it is. So I'm going to do an inch. Okay, it's actually a little bit more than an inch. Let's see. That's an inch. 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 Okay, let's look on the other side inch, inch, inch. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm gonna fold it again. And if you at this point decide that you wanna make it an inch and a half, as long as it's appropriate and you check, I don't want them too short, but I want them also the size that you're actually gonna wear them, because that's important then I can do another inch. You could even make them an inch and a half if you wanted to. But before you, before you go sew it, I wanna make sure that you are okay with the length. So I'm doing an inch and a half because remember when I first cut it, I cut it really long. And it's okay, it's actually better to cut it too long than too short. So I did an inch and another inch and a half. Again, you can go to the mirror, but you can find out, does that look reasonable? To me, it does. So since they're my shorts, or whoever I'm gonna give them to, my sister, then it should be fine. Oh, I measured both, I'm pressing both, I'm actually going to even steam both sides of it because I wanna make sure, notice I don't put my hand there when it's steamed, steam. Because I wanna make sure it's ready. I'll put this back here. Okay, so now I'm doing the bottom hem, and I am, see how I'm matching the items up? I'm matching the inseam is what it's called. I did not pin because it already is pressed, but if you feel more comfortable pinning, then pin, pin away. You actually can take this part off. There you go. Now we are talking. That's a sleeve board. Because now we have room to move. So now again, I'm gonna go on the edge. I don't have to go so much on the edge now because I'm not going to, I don't care about putting elastic in. I'm not putting elastic in now. So I'm just gonna show you with one pants leg, back stitch, keep going. But do you see where I started in the in the hem? seems I I'm not going to show you both legs I'm just going to show you one and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to finish off the cute pajama shorts you okay as I was saying I only tried to save on the pajama shorts 
So if you guys are making pajama bottoms, you're gonna need like a little bit more than two and a half yards probably per pajama short pants. And I, that's why I made them into bottoms. Shorts instead. Okay, we're almost there, so let's keep the video on. All right, we're trying to go as, as straight as we are. I'm just kind of using the end of the presser good as, guide as my um, guide. The presser foot is my guide. And then we're gonna meet the line again. And then when we meet that, we're going to backstitch. Okay, raise the needle up. It's already up, press your foot up. Okay, so you're gonna do the other leg as well, and I'm gonna show you the last final thing. Okay, so now I got this just ribbon that I had, and I'm gonna make a ribbon. Now, we're, we're not gonna do this at school, but if you guys choose to do it at, at home, that would be fine. So I'm just gonna show you what to do. So if you wanted to have that cute bow to kind of finish off your pajama bottoms, you would make the bow first, knowing that you could always cut some off. I'm just trying to determine size. I'm just gonna go over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to go forward, back stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna go this way, just because I wanna make sure it's secure. You can actually get the kind that won't ravel, which will be a little bit better. It's kind of zigzag. Um, I think they call it Rick Rack. And then you guys can cut off all the extra threads. That's of course the finishing touches. And then you can just make your bow like this. The bow is very unlikely to actually stay. So you might actually want to do a second one. If you choose to do that, you can make a second bow. Like you're double tying a shoe if you want to. You don't have to, it's just a choice. That doesn't look nice. So then you play with it until it looks like it's correct. Maybe don't double tie. There, ready? Okay, so play with the bow until you think it looks nice. And then you can just cut off the extra. There you have it, your cute pajama shorts. Enjoy!